Here's a quick rundown of Indigo 6. It's currently in beta version. Uh, you can get beta, uh, version 5, but that doesn't support Z-Wave. So I'm looking at version 6 in beta, and this particular build is uh, 6.00B11. The software enables you to run home automation from your Apple Mac computer and um, so far we've found it to be really reliable and pretty simple to configure. When you first load Indigo version 6 uh, you'll be presented with the devices tab. Now the devices essentially just lists all your devices configured on your network. Um, we're running just a Z-Wave network but you can run multiple uh, to control your X10 devices, Insteon devices and so on. Here you can see a few of the devices that we've got configured. Uh, for example, here's a wall socket that we've got a lamp plugged into. Uh, we've also got another lamp that enables a dimming solution plugged into uh, a socket there. As you've seen before from previous videos, uh, there's also a multi-sensor on our Z-Wave network and that uh, is an Aeon Labs multi-sensor. That allows us to gauge temperature, light, humidity and more, most importantly motion. As you can see when you click on a particular device, um, you get um, some status information and uh, another sensor specific information below. Uh, on this one for example, I'm getting a battery life indicator, a status indicator, the last time it was seen on the network uh, or the last update it had, a status report button there. Uh, if I click a lamp button, uh, this changes, so I just get a basic on off. Uh, I can actually turn the lamp on and off using these switches. There's a bit of configuration there. If you double click on a device, for example if I click the motion sensor, it brings up the pop-up window. Here you can start to configure the device in some more detail. Uh, the motion sensor for example, as I said before, it's a 4-in-1 device, so here are my temperature, humidity and luminance uh, config settings. I can also go into real detail and start editing the device settings here. So. This is quite a useful screen if you want to get into detail for your devices. If I just cancel that window and close this window, um, you can get to see that we're back at the devices list. Um, there are a couple of devices at the bottom here. These are virtual devices available in Indigo Pro. Uh, we'll talk about those in a few uh, moments. So as well as the devices list, uh, there's also what's called triggers. This is a, a way of being able to configure um, if something happens, what should uh, the Indigo software do? So a trigger is like an, a triggered event. So these can get quite complex or you can keep them fairly simple. Um, I've got one here called, configured called Living Room Motion Alarm. Now this one is uh, relies upon a few variables that I've already got set up. Um, it doesn't, doesn't require any programming knowledge in terms of variables, it's just um, um, Indigo speak for um, where to put data. But if I just skim over this uh, particular trigger, you can see here that it consists of three settings. So the first one is the actual trigger. Now, uh, this is just a drop down list that says, what do you want the trigger to be? There's various uh, things that you can choose from. Uh, in this example, mine says, look for a device status change. It then asks you for which device you want to uh, look for the status change in. And I'm gonna choose the living room motion sensor. And I'm gonna tell it to look for an on off state change and look for when it becomes on as a status, so i.e. when there's movement. You can also apply conditions to that. You can say that you want the trigger to be always this way, so you'd check this radio box, or you could say only trigger uh, an action if certain conditions match. So I've got one here that says if my alarm is set, um, then I want the um, motion detector to do something. The things that I want it to do are the actions. Now you can configure as many actions as you want here and I've got mine to make some variable changes, again which we'll look at another time, but also to execute a group of actions called panic. Now instead of configuring all my actions here in a long list, um, Indigo has got something called action groups and again that's on the left hand side here that enables you to configure the same set of actions um, into one action group. So if you're going to call that various times from various different um, triggers or conditions then uh, sometimes it's better to put your actions into a group on, uh, on this tab here. Now, if you didn't want to I could just literally keep adding new actions here at the bottom and then it would say what type of action do you want to, uh, to do and oops sorry I just cancelled that. 
get back to actions window, what action do you want? And it'll put it in the list and populate this list. Once that's ready, your trigger is set up and, um, and that particular action uh, associated with that trigger will take place. Also on the left, uh, there's something called schedules. Now I've not made use of the schedules yet, but essentially a schedule will be something along the lines of, if it's a certain time of day, then do something. Or if it's a certain time during the day, do something. You can see here, it's very simple. There's the schedule, uh, fairly, when you can get fairly granular and complex on that. What's the condition? So uh, again, you can say always take this action uh, upon, based upon the schedule or only do it if various conditions are met. For example, um, if it's Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and it's dark, then take action and that you, your actions can be various things. I'll just show you what sort of things that you can do in the actions menu here. Um, so it could be a device type action. Uh, for example, uh, do something with the brightness on a light appliance, control sprinklers, uh, control an input output device, um, do something with the thermostat and the heating, fan speed, or do something with a virtual device. Uh, you can also take server related actions, that means Indigo server related actions, um, such as executing action groups. So these are action groups here. Um, you can take variable actions, modify variables. I talked about variables earlier. Um, a variable essentially is just somewhere to store some data. So that's that. Uh, you can also do uh, notification actions, such as sending an email. Uh, there's some Insteon related actions there. Um, I've not got Insteon uh, configured, but uh, you can execute Insteon scenes. Um, and again, you can also um, add on plugins, which would be listed in the bottom. I've got a plugin called Find My iDevice, and there's some um, actions there that can be taken. So that's actions. You can also delay actions. Uh, you can see at the bottom, you can put a 15 minute delay, a few second delay, depending on what you want. And you can also get um, the Mac to speak. Um, for example, if I um, just show you this, um, that would hello. say hello. Um, upon um, this particular schedule occurring and being actioned. So that's scheduled.